everyone, welcome to the QEOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima, and today you're going to be prepping our uh, test before doing the actual action. We're going to be do working on the given specifically. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notification of my next videos, and I'm also going to be posting the links for the previous videos so you can keep it up, right? Okay, so this is what we're going to need to do. We need, I'm going to implement two scenarios. One is going to be pretty straightforward and the other ones we need to do a little bit of working. So the first scenario, and I'm going to paste it here so we don't lose much, much time typing. Scenario lists only pets pending. Given that I have pets pending, when I search for all pets pending, then I receive a list of two pets. So this scenario is very similar to this one. We just need to make these uh, access uh, different ending, different variables here. So this is the scenario. I'm going to just make sure we we change this to. It's going to be for Word. Now it can be anything. Since there is a variable here, I need to send this to the method as well. Great. And now I need to work on this one. Then I receive a list of two pets which is very similar to this one. Then I receive a list of pets available. This is receiving a actual pets because the pets is being searched by the status. And now I'm checking if the list is not empty. I just make sure that I need to check for these two. So when now I can come here, I can implement this scenario in pets. He already identified the two as an integer. I'm going to say this is pets quantity. And now I'm going to say assert that actual pets, because this actual pets is coming from when I search for the ending, this actual pets, and this is a class variable which I have access in other methods. This is going to be is pets quantity. Right? But there is one thing that I miss is it's not the actual pets object, it's the size of that object. Now I can run this and it works. I can check, I can put five, rerun my test and it's going to fail. And if I check here, it says it was expected five, but it was actually two. So let me have my last run as a successful run. Great. So we're going to write another scenario, and this one we're going to have to do a little prepping. So this one is scenario, don't list any pets. Given that I don't have pets sold, when I search for a list of pets sold, then I receive a list of zero pets. So first, this we already have. This is the same as when I search for all pets pending. I just need to do a little wording here. Uh, when I search for all pets sold, IntelliJ also helps help me out. If I do uh, control space, it's going to figure out what is that I want. It's going to put the word for me and I need to put sold here. Already figured out. Here also is a little bit weird because then I receive a list of zero pets in plural. But Cucumber help us with, uh, can help us with that. I have, uh, I can put uh, multiple words. I can say my belly slash stomach and it's going to map these two steps, both with belly, both with stomach. And I can also use plural. I can put between parentheses and it's going to figure out as well those two scenarios, uh, the one in singular and the other one in plural. So what I need to do is I need to come here into my pets and I'm going to change here to zero pet and in my pets I'm going to put the s between parentheses and now if I go back here it, it identify both right awesome now I need to work on this one right this one I'm going to create this step and this step is then I don't have pet sold. What I actually need to do is when I look here in the swagger, I have pets and I can search for pets sold. And I have one or two pets. I need to delete this. And this is a array. 
I can I need to delete everything I need to be able to delete if there is two three I need to make sure so you can see that this is an array I need to make sure everything is deleted before I move on otherwise it's going to fail so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to my pet API and now I'm going to create a method called delete pets by status public void delete all pets by status and I'm going to receive the status of the pet that I want to delete but there is a catch I don't have a endpoint to delete by status I have an endpoint to find by status and I have an endpoint to, to delete by ID so I first need to search for all the IDs of the pets that I want to delete by its status and then I'm going I can use the ID to delete all of my pets so let's first things first let's find all the pets that I want to delete so the endpoint that we're going to find the pet is the same it's, it's still going to be the same endpoint so what I'm going to do here I'm going to say uh, and this is going to be a list of IDs, right? So I'm going to say list of integer and I'm going to call pets ID and I'm going to say this is going to be a given uh, path param status status when I do a get to find by status then this is when it changes a little then return I want to return the path right this is the path when I do a search by status and I, I execute you're going to find, let me put into JSON format, I'm going to have the ID. So I want all the IDs. So I'm going to return the path ID. So if now I need to be able to get those IDs in loop through those IDs and delete every single one of those IDs and this is what I'm going to do right so I need to do a for I'm going to do for I'm going to say that each item is going to be named ID and the array of items is pets ID right and now I'm going to do a given and I'm going to do rest assured in one single line we we'll say given path param. This is the same, but now I need to modify the endpoint, right? I forgot about the endpoint. This is the slash and the slash ID. So now this is going to be pet endpoint, and it's v3 slash pet slash ID, and I can delete everything here. So now the ID is how I'm going to map it, right? So this is going to be ID because this is the ID of the endpoint and the value is ID because it's the value of our loop, right? Dot delete and I need to use the endpoint pet endpoint. I did not name the endpoint delete endpoint because this endpoint is used for multiple things so the same endpoint is used for delete for post and forget so i'm just calling pet endpoint awesome so now i deleted uh i was able to delete this pet right but there is also another thing if there is no pet there then we have a problem because if there is no pet this is going to be empty and there, was, there is no way you can loop through an empty array. So I need to check. Right? The way that I check is if pet ID 
is empty, then do something, and I'm going to uh, do the identity here. But this is not what I want, right? This is I don't want to do this if it's empty. I want to do this if it's not empty. Then I put exclamation mark to do the, the denial of that phrase. So if it's not empty, do this. Now I can come here to my test and I can say pet API dot delete all by status and I'm going to pass on the status which I haven't yet. So then I don't have pet sold. This needs to be a word string status status. Now I can go to my scenario and I can run this. And it works. Right? And if I go here to my pets by uh, sold, it deleted, right? But now let's let's make sure we it's working. So let me stop Docker, stop pet store, and now I'm going to start the pet store. Now I have the item again. I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to run the scenario. So it's going to fail because it was expecting zero and but expected zero, but there was one because we did not delete. Now if I delete, it's gone. I can re-execute and it's going to pass because we are checking that. If we did not check, it would not be able to pass. Right? That's what I want to show you folks. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notification of my next videos. Uh, if you like it, give the thumbs up and it is really important that you do. That's how the channel can broadcast to more people and that's how the channel can grow as well. So I, I'll see you on next videos. Thank you.